Next is Mr. Larry Fancher. Good evening, Chris. Ray. I hope that's not a picture of my property on Park Boulevard. Pardon me? I hope that's not a picture of my property because I did get a ticket. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I'll get through that. <clears throat> I want to let you know that, uh, in case you don't know, that HUD has cut the Community Development Block Grant funding next year by $300,000. thought you might want to know that in case you didn't know it. Second, I'd like for you to consider an ADA issue that you enact an ordinance requiring property owners, when they sell their property, if they do not have a sidewalk, that they be required to put one in. This would not include the handicap ramps, they're quite expensive. This would be consistent with the 1976 Architectural Barrier Removal Act, the 1990 ADA, and the 2009 as amended ADA. <clears throat> you might recall that in 2002, the U.S. Justice Department Office of Civil Rights came to Pueblo and found that the uh, ADA transition plan had not been acted upon, the city had been required in place, and also that developers had been allowed to put in their developments without putting handicap ramps on the corners. <clears throat> the lawyers drug it out for two years doing their job. Of course, when lawyers talk to lawyers, things slow down. Uh, and so it expired here in June, and I've been assured uh, by several people in on your staff that you've met these requirements. <clears throat> I'll show you something here. The blatant thing, I saw some lady wheeling along in a wheelchair. Can you all see this? I saw her by Walmart. <clears throat> Pueblo Boulevard Northern, Walmart, the street called Columbia, Surfway is here. This area here sidewalks where they've got businesses. Now when it comes to Walmart here, no sidewalks and these other businesses here on this side. So the people that live up in here in these apartments that are in wheelchairs have to tool down the middle of the road. Uh, this was built after 1976, quite a bit after. So I'm kind of curious how that happened. And I'd like for you, for you folks to address that and get it fixed as soon as possible. Also, with the U.S. Justice Department settlement, uh, Council then started taking $400,000 a year out of the Community Development Block Grant monies, put in handicap ramps. Your lawyer at the time, Mr. Jagger, and his assistant, Mr. Fuerjack, cried to the federal government that Pueblo was poor. We just didn't have any money. When in fact, you had in the works the, S the XL deal for, what, 13, 14, 15 million dollars. And then, of course, later, the Black Hills deal came through when you gave a good deal on tax break to Black Hills. So in that five-year period that you, uh, Council, was taking the $400,000, you took $2 million. I'd like for you to replace it since you're so flush with cash that you can afford to give $747,000 to a motor sports park. Put that money back in the Housing and Citizen Services Program. Use that money in areas that were... Uh, you couldn't use it before because you didn't meet the parameters of the low mob uh, income census tract. So these are some of the issues that I thought would be of significance to all of us. And uh, it would focus on uh, making this town handout accessible. Also, you could give some money to uh, housing and citizen services to make up for that 300000 that's being taken from you for the 2012 period. Uh, those are the issues, those are the laws, those are my concerns, those are the examples and good exhibits. Um, I tried to put one of the people in a wheelchair I saw two of them down in Columbia to come, but they were afraid. People are afraid to come here, unfortunately. So I think that was very clear. There's a problem in District 2 that makes this a problem, District 3, excuse me, and that means that you, at large candidates or council people, should uh, address this issue because it's across town. We have problems across the town, but this in particular by Walmart, I cannot fathom how that ever happened. How did that happen? How did you let a developer 
and Walmart produce that kind of a mess. It's very dangerous. So I hope that you will take this into consideration um, and deal with these issues, the real issues, and they're consistent with the property maintenance code. Thank you, one hour. Okay. We could thank you. For our property owners to, to maintain the property, the city must maintain the rules about how you develop the property. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you for your comments. Uh, let's see, on special recognitions uh, today, we have uh, the July employee of the month, Mr. Mike Musso, Auto Mechanic, Department of Fleet Maintenance. Is he here? Come on up, Mike. We'll have Judy Reed. Come on up here. Mike is one of the newer employees of the City of Pueblo, but has already made a big impact in his department. His outstanding work ethic and general professional attitude is always in the forefront of his personality. Mike also comes to the city with well over 25 years of experience, and his knowledge and expertise takes the possibility for equipment repairs to a whole new level. Mike's exemplary knowledge was made evident recently on the Pueblo Airport Fire Station crash truck. This vehicle is key to the operations of the airport. It was brought to the attention of the fleet management that the vehicle needed extensive and immediate repairs, or the airport would be shut down by the FAA. Mike not only facilitated the necessary repairs, but having no prior experience on this type of vehicle, he quickly grasped the intricacies of systems involved. Crash truck was repaired not only in a timely fashion, but was repaired to the exact specifications required by the FAA. Mike went above and beyond by working on his own time on several occasions to get the job done. Mike also replaced several engines in various fire trucks. Um, the fleet maintenance department has never replaced this many engines in the same time frame. We both recognized and appreciated the skill level that Mike brings on a daily basis. It is always refreshing to have an employee with a fresh, positive outlook and a great laugh that can inspire the entire crew. At this time, we would like to thank Mike for the sincere dedication he routinely displays on the job. And it is with great pride that we present him with a special certificate of recognition for outstanding performance. We extend our most sincere appreciation for his representation of the City of Pueblo in a professional and confident manner. And we wish him continued success in the years to come. He will receive a $75 cash award and an additional personal holiday from the City of Pueblo. And Mike, we want to congratulate you for a job well done.